Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Loading. Um, today I'm gonna cov uh, try to cover uh, there's a new add on called Modular Tree by Maxim Harpin. And as we, I've been trying uh, this node, uh, testing it out for a day, and this is gonna be the first look at the node. So basically, this node will generate a procedural tree for you, and it is uh, very intuitive notes uh, you can read the documentations over here um, and apparently it will work for blender 2.8 and also for 2.79 if you are using both so it's gonna work um, so yeah let's just jump right into it um, but yeah you can read the documentations but uh, I'm gonna try to jump right away anyway so this is the 2.79 version uh, with uh, Blender 2.79. If you use the, if you install the the add-on, it's gonna appear right here. And if you create new, you can then add a bunch of nodes. So I think the latest version is actually uh, the one for 2.78. So with uh, Blender 2.8, uh, this modular tree add-on will will create this new uh, interface. So it's also node base and it's pretty cool and it is probably much more intuitive with a 2.8 version. Basically you have all these nodes except for this one, three parameters. So, so you need to at least have one of these nodes. Let's try with the, with the trunk for example. I'm going to save this uh, as M3 demo. So we have a trunk node, and there is this option to use grease pencil, but for now let's just uh, leave it like that. And we need to have three parameters. This one will trigger and generate uh, your tree basically. So I'm not gonna touch the list because uh, without reading the documentation, I, d I didn't manage to get it to work yet, but. Uh, this should work. Create three, so it will give you this mesh by default. This is actually the curve version. Um, there are two output, preview and the final. Final will actually generate the actual mesh. Preview is faster and it is using uh, some kind of curve data. And so let's save it. And by default, this is all the default uh, trunk node, you can randomize the seed, you, you, you can see nothing happen because you need to update the tree. So randomize the seed, update the tree, or you can also use this, uh, this button, randomize tree, this will actually trigger a change in the seed and then randomize the tree. So that's the basic, basic uh, you can play around with the length, etc. You can turn on auto update. Sometimes this will crash Blender, but uh, okay, it's working fine now. So you can play around with the length, the radius. Uh, it will generate the tree trunk, uh, resolution, shapes, randomizations. That's kind of cool. Axis attraction. So maybe you leave it like that. But if you want to play around with other nodes, feel free to do so. Like there's a split, grow and split. And there's also branching, which is more like a, it's kind of like split, but seems like more advanced. Root node is kind of nice. If you want to make like a, the root of the tree, this instantly give you that. I still have the auto update on, that's why it's uh, automatically updating. So let's do that. You can randomize the tree. You can see it's changing the seed at the same time for all the nodes. I think this is really cool. Whoever made uh, this add-on, uh, this is really, really cool. What's his name again? Maxim Harpin, okay. Um, yeah, this is, like I said, it's really quite intuitive. Um, the nodes itself, I think the add-on itself still under development, but uh, it's uh, it's really fun, fun nodes to play with. 
in the past I've been trying to make something like this using animation nodes or spare talk you probably can do that but this is like a full-on add-on that does the job for you split node is kind of uh, okay split node is interesting it doesn't seem to give you anything unless you switch to final now you can see what's going on there and I believe you can increase the radius etc but uh, instead of using split node how about we keep staying on the preview and use a branch branch node so the tr just the trunk and the branch node and update the tree so this one give you exactly kind of like split and grow at the same time you can still randomize the tree so if you generate a single tree and du you duplicate it you can randomize the tree and duplicate it again and kind of having all kind of different tree very very quickly it's super basic it doesn't have leaves um, I might look into leaves next time this is just a quick first look at this node um, so auto update should still be working if I turn on and so you can play around with the length etc this is really cool maybe with this node you can also create some kind of a like lightning effects maybe not exactly for that advanced setting if you more shape effects. so resolutions um, one thing to notice uh, I mean you should be careful with all this uh, parameters some of them really can crash blender very very quickly oh that's cool uh, floor of volumes um, but these nodes working together is almost like um, how it works maybe in an app like Houdini it depends on how you create it but you can see this is just a curve objects with all the parameters you can play with randomizations on the trunk that's cool and then we can save this and then try a tweak actually split let's try this on blender 2.79 so it's kind of nice to try this as well ah the grease pencil you can use grease pencil in the trunk that's really cool slightly different here in the interface um, where is that options to grow and generate the tree or this guy build the tree okay this needs to be plugged in this is blender 2.79 version create tree okay auto update play around with the radius high I think it's it's definitely working it's more stable with the uh, the other the blender 2.8 split angle etc where's the update this auto updating i believe maybe i need to split and grow oh yeah split and grow seems to work uh should have switched that out switch it off Notification of where is it? Oh well, never mind that. So radius growth. So okay, now blender seems to be frozen. Like I said, be careful with the with the parameters. You can easily press blender, but it works. Trunk split and grow works together. But uh, in blender two point eight, we have. Uh, branch nodes kind of doing similar thing let's look at the advanced setting so play on with the maximum split number the radius the length it's got it's got a lot of stuff it's, it's, it, it reminds me of my uh, pain effects kind of pain effects kind of like a, also like a three generators graffiti strength so you can make tree that looks like this like horror kind of tree 
floor avoidance if you have floor mm -hmm. it's only lease is one options that I cannot actually see oh okay crisis uh, that's all right I guess I should stop there it's just a first look feel free to play around and then maybe reporting some issues relating to the add-on but it, like I said it works for Blender 2.79 and 2.8 there's this documentation, the trunk and grease pencil. With grease pencil node, you can create a stroke and then this will modify the stroke and then you can use it for your tree, basically. It's really cool. Um, there's, a, there's a lot with this add-on, but if you like to generate trees and leaves, this is really, really good add-on for it. There's another add-on that you need to pay for, but this one is using node-based interface. If you like nodes, um, this is really cool. Maybe we can use this with animation nodes and spec talk also. Um, it also generates uh, armature if you like, so there's an option for armature. Um, there's something I need to study beforehand, but yeah, there you go. That's a if you download the add-on, don't forget. Either choose the master branch or the Blender 2.8, 2.8 branch, and I think documentation still also needs to be updated uh, by the developers. But yeah, I think that should be enough to get you started. Hopefully, you find this useful. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.